Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Jawan.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to create this beautiful film strip effect looks, that looks like it's sitting on top of a reflective surface and if you find this video helpful to you please comment rate and subscribe now we have a lot to cover so let's get started I'm gonna minimize this I'm gonna hit control N to create a new document we are going to make our width 800 and our height 600 and we are going to have the resolution set to 600 that way after you're done with this you could take it to Kinko's or Staples and have it printed out onto a t-shirt or, or a wall photo or something and so go ahead and press enter to open up your new document now we're going to hit control I to invert this to black we're going to hit control J to create a new black layer and we're going to hit control I to change that new layer to white now we're going to hit control T to transform this new white layer and I'm going to hold the alt key down so that we can drag the top and the bottom at the same time and we're going to drag that down to 75 percent see or 75 ish that's good and you're going to do the same thing with the right side but we're only going to drag that in by 90 percent or 90 ish percent and that's good enough to me and then press enter to accept that and then hit control E to merge both of those layers together and now we are going to create a new document so go to file and then new or just hit control N now we are going to select the international paper and we're going to have the size at A4 which I already have selected here press enter and now we are going to go to image and rotate canvas and we're going to rotate that by 90 degrees it doesn't matter if it's clockwise or counterclockwise because there's nothing on it yet so go ahead now we're going to choose the gradient tool now you can use whatever gradient you want but I'm going to use this one that I already have in here that I did from a previous tutorial and I'm just going to drag out that gradient like so now this new document is actually a lot larger than this black and white document here is just really zoomed out and you're gonna see what I'm talking about right now because I'm going to go ahead and drag this new thing oops hit control Z didn't mean to do that make sure you select your move tool first and then drag this in to here and now you see what I'm talking about this new one is actually a lot bigger now hit control J to duplicate that and hit the arrow key to drag that new one out and I'm going to hold shift to make it drag a little bit faster and make sure you get it perfectly lined up with that previous one now hit control E to merge both of those together and then hit control J to duplicate it again and now dra uh, drag it out just like it did before I'm gonna hold shift to make it go a little faster hurry up and I'm using the arrows because I don't want it to go up and down I want it to stay perfectly verti vertically aligned just like that now hit control E to merge that together so now you just have one big image that's starting to already take the shape of a film strip now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the eraser tool and we are going to choose this square here and I already I already have it selected I already have the diameter the way I want it now you usually have a bunch of circles in here if you want to locate the squares you would normally click on the arrow and you would go down to squares but I already have exactly what I want and now what you then after you do that you would hit F5 to bring up your brush presets and you are going to set the distance to 300 and see because normally it's like way down here and it will just make a big felt tip line if you drew with it but we want the distance to be at 300 so that they're all spaced out and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in 300 in there just like that and then hit F5 to make that well it didn't work supposed to make the menu go away I just press that okay so now what you're gonna do with that eraser tool you're gonna hold down you're going to press over here on the left side and you're gonna hold down the shift key and then come over to the right side and then press again and what that does is it makes sure that it stays in a straight line and do the same thing at the bottom press once on the left side hold down the shift key come over to the right side and then press again now we're gonna use our magic wand tool we're gonna choose the magic wand tool hold down the shift key so that you can keep adding go one two three 
four to select all of that whiteness and then press delete to delete that and then press control D to get rid of those marching ants now we're gonna go ahead and bring some pictures in here so you're gonna go to file and then open and I'm gonna go ahead and select these four pictures here hold shift to go ahead and select all four of those and then choose open and gonna select oh, come on so now I'm just gonna go ahead and move all of these pictures out of the way so that I can see my document and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you how to do one picture and then I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do the rest so I'm going to drag one of the pictures in here make sure that you have your move tool selected when you do that and I'm going to go ahead and drag the top corner into place just like that now I'm going to hit control T and I'm going to align it with the the inside of the film strip just like that and then press enter so now what I'll do is I will pause the video and I will go ahead and finish the, uh, the other three and I'll be back in just a moment alright I'm back so we have all of those uh, pictures in there and I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this uh, this was the well, I'll just close it out. I don't need to save it. We're, we're done with that. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this film strip layer up above all of those pictures so that the, the pictures look like they are in there. Come on, go up. Okay, there we go. So now we have the uh, all of the pictures inside of the film strip. So now what I want to do is merge all of those together. So I'm going to hit control and then select all of those except for the background layer and hit control E to merge all of those into one document so now what I'm going to do is hit control J in order to duplicate that and I'm going to go to edit transform and then flip vertically okay so the copy that we just made we just flip that vertically so now I'm going to move that down just like this and you're gonna have, have that directly under this new picture uh, the the original picture and I'm going to hit control E well actually before I hit control E we're going to reduce the opacity of this new one to 40 percent see just drag you the dragging slider here or 39 40 doesn't have to be perfect so we have reduced the opacity down to 40 percent now I'm going to hit control E and we just merge those together and now only one step step left all you have to do now is go to edit transform and then choose warp now when you choose the warp transform it comes with a lot of presets so you click on the down arrow here and then what we want is flag and there you go we are done that is exactly how you create this really cool film strip effect oh gotta apply the changes but the uh, there you go the, uh, the changes have been applied and now you can move it around get it exactly as you want it and you could uh, you know save this onto a flash drive take it to Staples or Kinko's and have them print it out onto a t-shirt or you could print it out onto a into a a wall picture frame and put it on your wall print you know make photos for all your friends and family I hope you enjoyed this video again please comment rate and subscribe and have a beautiful day